Uh, so uh, welcome to this one-on-one -on -one chat with co-founder and CMO of the Nemesis, Ricardo Zanini. Uh, Ricardo, thank you so much for being here. Thank you, for, thank you my guys, so for the opportunity. And it's always you know, a pleasure to talk uh, you know, about something that is really disrupted, uh, you know, the, the future of the web. So it's, it's really sure. amazing. Absolutely. Um, you know, I know that sometimes a one-on-one -on -one interview can look a lot like an advertisement, but, you know, <laughs> businesses and causes and projects will never be successful without dedicated, passionate people who overcome obstacles and remain determined to succeed no matter what. So, you know, we're not here for an advertisement. We want to gain some insight on you and your very human story, how you acquired your skills and experience, how you've applied those skills and experience, and how being a serial entrepreneur has let you forge your own path and led you to where we are today. Yeah. Uh, does that sound good? Yeah, yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, and maybe, you know, Tom, I, I speak uh, always too much, so interrupt <laughs> me if I talk too much, because also my English is not, you know, the most beautiful uh, English in the world, so sure. I, I will try to do my best, man. All right, perfect. Um, all right, so uh, first off, tell us who you are, yeah. uh, what you're yeah. doing right now, and, and uh, yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, so I'm, uh, you know, I'm 43. So I'm not so young to work, you know, but it's more than 20. I started, to, I started with my first project when I was 20. After one year in the United States, I was in San Diego. And, uh, you know, I love this city. And uh, I don't know why I didn't stay there for my life, but it's okay. So I come back to Italy and start my first project. And uh, I, I have always something in my mind that I want to create something that could really have a significant uh, impact, you know, on the future of life uh, of people. So I, the first one was, you know, I was 20. So the first one, uh, it was in food and beverage. I opened uh, two restaurants and one uh, pub where uh, you can see, you know, here behind me is the, is the first flyer of 2001. Awesome. And uh, yeah, after this experience, we know my, my daughter born in 2008. So I, I have to change my life. You cannot live in the night if, uh, if you have a family. <laughs> also, my wife uh, asked me, maybe you can change yeah, and not come back always. Yeah. In the yeah. <laughs> so I, there was a friend that uh, told me if I can go with him, uh, he would like to open a restaurant in uh, Beijing, in China. And uh, he was married with a, with a girl that uh, was born in, China, in Beijing. So he asked me to, to go there for one week to help him, you know, to give uh, an, uh, you know, a suggestion to open, like, I, I could say, you know, to, to like to, to explain him uh, what he have to do and everything. I was in, uh, you know, in Beijing and uh, we, we fly also to Shanghai and uh, I saw, man, all the scooter, you know, the motorcycle was right. electrical. And I don't know what's happened in my mind, but uh, in Italy, they started to, to the advertising to tell about, you know, the electric, the electric mobility. So they started to talk about that. But in China was already, you know, something real. Right. So I, I don't know what's happened in my mind, but I come back and I start, you know, to set up a company and to import and produce electrical scooter in Italy. Oh, wow. And in 2000, uh, it was 2010, I was the first uh, in Italy that, uh, you know, started to, to import the uh, e-scooter with a brand. And uh, it was a great and amazing thing because uh, I collect some, you know, different guys with different skills, uh, engineer and everything. And uh, we patent, uh, you know, a vehicle. And uh, now it is a vehicle that you can see around uh, in yeah. Italy, also around Europe. And uh, that was, uh, you know, something that started uh, to give me the opportunity to do something that uh, could, could be helpful, you know, for the future of my right. daughter. And, uh, you know, after uh, it was four or five years, I don't remember, I sell the company because, uh, you know, I, I love, you know, after four or five years, I love, my wife don't love it, but I love it a lot so to change and to start a new project because I need every time to do something new in my mind to be, you know, proactive and not just to do something during the day. 
and um, I was, uh, you know, I was the, 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 there was an application that was a startup bus, a Europe competition. And in 72 hours, we start from Rome. We have to arrive to Vienna. In a, that was the, the, the convention, I don't remember the name. And in 72 hours in a bus, we have to build with 24 <laughs> other guys in a different group, we have to build new projects. Wow. And uh, so it was really great. This was a really an experience, not easy, but uh, a great experience. And we win uh, in Vienna during the conference. Uh, Amazing. The project, uh, yeah, the project was uh, an NFC uh, Wish brand that give you the opportunity to read all the, the information about your health in case of need. So it was something really, you know, useful for people. And it is always in my mind that, uh, and uh, we start to put, you know, to, to set up the company, we start the startup. Uh, and in parallel, I was in Shanghai for another, you know, contest uh, and uh, presenting uh, this project. Uh, and I met Alessandro that was the, the other co-founder of the Nemesis. I, I want to say not only co-founder, he's the real father, you know, because okay. he's, a, you know, the technical man who really <laughs> wrote the, the code and think about all the mechanics of the platform. And uh, after the pitches, you know, we started talking together and we find really some synergy between our backgrounds because I'm more marketing and sales and he's more technical and, you know, project development. And... Um, both of, you know, Alessandro was thinking about something that uh, could uh, really, I could say, really change uh, and use the web, uh, you know, to change the way to interact with content and everything. And me, I was, uh, you know, always thinking to something that could uh, be a, have a significant impact, uh, you know, in social uh, in social life of uh, people. And um, after that, uh, you know, in 2010, uh, we both read, uh, you know, you know the book, uh, the book uh, Player One, that was oh, yeah. uh, the book wrote by Ernest, uh, you know, Clinton. and uh, you know he started to talk about metaverse and uh, how you know to use the web in the metaverse in the experience with your avatar, and uh, you know after the, the, that book we never stopped to think about that, and uh, you know with the movie Ready Player One in 2018. Yeah. Uh, uh, it definitely inspire our minds. And after a few months, we incorporated the company and officially start working full time, you know, on the project, on the Nemesis. And so, you know, I just rake up in my last 20 years, or 18 years. You oh, know, that's it, great. Yeah, you know, I, I did a lot of different projects, but I think that the most important message is that, uh, you know, the, the skill that you can earn, uh, that you can learn, uh, you know, doing something, uh, is in, in there's no school that you can give you right. this skill, and uh, it's difficult because you have you have fail, you can have a good results. Uh, for example, you know, obviously we have some uh, exit, me and Alessandro, and we invest. Uh, you know, you can imagine we invest more than one million, you know, to start to develop the Nemesis uh, when you we incorporated the company. So, it's it, sometimes you have a good exit, sometimes not, but uh, all of this, you know, experience that you have. Uh, it's really very important, you know, to find, uh, you know, and not to stop because the first fail uh, is something that gives you more power to do the new one. And yeah. it's very important that, yeah. No, I think, I think that's really, I think that's a really important thing to point out that like, you know, a lot of times failure is looked at as failure, but in reality, it's a learning experience. If you make it that yeah. right, it's a, it's an opportunity to know how something shouldn't be done you know, so that you can find out how you can do it. And I think we, you know, I think uh, as sort of a, a, a across the world, um, you know, we, uh, um, you know, we, we look down on failure so much and not look at it as that sort of thing, right? It's, oh, we don't want people to fail, but it's good to go out. You have to try, you know, sometimes you have to kind of, you know, fall down and skin your knee so that you can get back up and get back on the bike. You know? Yeah, and, and you can know also how to do it better. Exactly. Next step. So right. you you don't know how to do it better if you don't you know fail in you know in a sort of a, you know it's a different situation you can fail. That's obviously also the money, the financial part that is very important because when me and Alessandro started to do you know to think about the startup, the, the word startup never exists. So you cannot go to the investors. You don't have uh, so many 
opportunity that now you have, uh, you know, to find, to, to, to fundraise, uh, to, you know, to find a new uh, partner to develop your idea. So it was difficult because you have to invest your direct money, your direct, you know, your family money because uh, it was, you yeah. know, it was so young. And now it's, uh, you know, it's an amazing opportunity to fail. I don't want to say that, but no, it's, of course, it's, no, it, it is. You can fail now, maybe, and not have a problem. You know, is the financial fail? Of course, your investor will be not happy. But for example, we have uh, some investors now in the Nemesis that uh, had invested also in some uh, in the previous project that we did, and sometimes that they don't go well. So it's, right. it's real that uh, the investors invest in project, but especially in persons. So yeah. I, I think that uh, that now and I can connect, you know, the topic of the, the, the talk uh, of the NFT. The NFT is something that uh, now gives the opportunity to raise money in one side, uh, for example, for charity project uh, or for no profit organization, uh, but also for, uh, you know, new project or new startup uh, is a way to, you know, to have the financial, the, the, the money necessary, you know, to develop your idea. So it's really something uh, great. Uh, and uh, obviously, it will be not always like the last year. So, you know, sure. I think, but uh, it will stay, you know, it will be a reality now. And yeah. if you know, and if you can, uh, you know, approach this market, this new opportunity in the right way, that could be really something that uh, give the opportunity also to the new startup uh, to not ask money from the investor, to not share equity, but sure. can uh, you know earn the, the the first seed of a family and friends? Uh, it could become from the NFT project, for example, and it happened because you can see how many projects start on OpenSea every day, and and uh, of course with the, you know the charities uh, is a, a, a very important point is the reason why also we accept to cooperate with the Impact NFT exhibition uh, as the nemesis because uh, behind the exhibition there's this kind of you know of message uh, and. Right. Uh, could be really something that uh, could uh, disrupt also for the charity project or no-profit organization uh, and to help, uh, you know, really direct uh, project in the real life uh, using right. this, this digital uh, digital opportunity that is... Uh, I, I could, amazing is not enough to say, <laughs> to, yeah, to explain how it is. No, you're absolutely right. And I think, I think, you know, just in the, like you, like you said, in the last year, in really in the last year, year and a half, two years tops, we've seen really the explosion of the NFT marketplace. I do think that I think going that way forever is unsustainable. Right. And so I think when more, as more people come in, like that's kind of how markets work, right. Is like, as more people come in, you start to kind of see that kind of, you know, curve sort to kind of, you know, straighten out a little bit. And I think that'll be really good for the community once people are more comfortable and they have, you know, a, a real understanding of what NFTs can do, not just like, because right now it is still very speculative and it's still very like, oh, I have to be a part. It's a lot of FOMO, right? And it isn't so much like, you know, there are real use cases here. There are real things that can be done that attach to the real world in a way that uh, is, like you said, disruptive and breaks the current paradigm. And uh, we just, you know, we have to get to that point, really. I think we're still, you know, a decent amount away from that. But I think it's things like this, where the ex the exhibition and, you know, uh, being able to, um, you know, uh, go into the nemesis and, and uh, you know, play games and like earn, you know, uh, or find NFTs or like, you know, connect with people in that area and get, you know, uh, yeah. Yeah. into that community like that's just that's how it starts right you have to build the community up and that's how all these things work you have to build the community build the community so um what exactly is the nemesis and um why is it called the nemesis <laughs> okay so just you know to follow your uh, you know what you're saying is very important that uh, you know, the, the, the nemesis uh, is uh, something that could really help uh, this new world of NFT, crypto, digital, you know, digital money, we could say, to be connected to the mass market. So I think that, uh, you know, the, the, the nemesis is, uh, I, 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 I love to say that, uh, you know, it looks uh, like a website in 3D, you know, it's, uh, you know, it's to, yeah. to upgrade 
the 2D experience, so reading and watching video, in an interactive experience. So in, you can leave the experience with your avatar and you can interact with the content, with the services or with product. So it's something that uh, I could say is in the right moment uh, for the right, uh, you know, uh, go for the right uh, um, object uh, for the right uh, you know project like uh, the NFT yeah. and everything. So it's a uh, it's something that uh, could uh, you know it, it introduce a new way to interact with brands, with product uh, and everything, and give the opportunity to the community. As you said, it's very important because uh, you know the 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 the, the, the must is build a community, build a community. It's okay, it's real. But then after that, you have to give to the community something. Right. So the, the NFT is something that is a collectible, is an investment, is a something, you know, digital. And stay digital, you know, cannot move from the digital. But uh, if you have a platform or a tool like the Nemesis that uh, give the opportunity to, uh, to, 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 um, to let the digital part of the NFT become something real that give you... Uh, I, that give you a benefit, you know, yeah. use into the metaverse uh, and into the metaverse, this benefit could be come also, a, you know, something that you could real, use also in the real world. Yeah, just to give you an example, a quick example of a purple penguin, you know, the Antarctica yeah. metaverse that we have is, you know, a stronger partner of us and uh, we work with them. And uh, I think that they was one of the first, you know, with uh, you know um, uh, this kind of uh, you know mission to come into the metaverse, uh, for example, they have a, their metaverse that is a village in the Antarctica where they can uh, you know share content uh, using an interactive corner. When users can come across the corner, they can see the, the the information and they go they can go outside in the landing page specific landing page. But the most important thing is that they could give, the, um, using the gamification, they could spread the message, uh, in this case of, you know, save the planet, clean the ocean, giving the opportunity to the user to, I could say, to internalize, you know, the message, uh, you right. know, just playing. For example, you have to collect all the um, can handle, you know, this plastic can handle that is one of the, 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 the biggest problem that you can find the ocean yeah. because the fish can stop inside. You you have to collect it in the Antarctica, and it, when you play during playing, you are learning this message, you know, and he will sure. stay in your mind. That is not a push. It's not to 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 show you in your feed of Instagram. I don't know twenty posts every sure. day right. that push you <laughs> every day, and at the end you said, okay, guys, I don't like you because you are pushing me. So you lose, you know. The, the, the right. opportunity to give the to, to, to give them the message playing and interacting you know with this kind of uh, you know messages and content uh, is really something uh, that uh, will definitely change the approach that we have uh, from the content from web uh, the content from the web uh, you yeah. know it definitely change that and the nemesis is that so it's a platform it's an open platform that want to you know, to revolutionize the world of gaming, uh, social and entertainment uh, using the virtual interaction. So imagine that uh, the name is, uh, we imagine, but it's, 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 you know, it's happening, uh, that it may, the nemesis will become like a universe when you will find a lot of metaverse that could be a metaverse where you can go to buy a pair of shoes, for example, because you can live, you know, the e-commerce experience and interacting with the product. Or maybe you can, you know, interact and discover uh, this kind of, um, you know, important project for no profit. Uh, but it doesn't happen. What well, it doesn't matter what you are, what you want, you know, to communicate. Yeah, is the way that you use to communicate it. Sure. And uh, you know, we, we speak the same language, you know, of the of my daughter. That is now 13, right. 14 years old. And but we speak the language the, the same language also to people that are 40 or 45 or 50 years old. Because you know, talking about the NFT, you are giving to the community a place where they can, right. you know, interact, meet, uh, socialize, you know, discover new content and also use the NFT. For example, for uh, you know, Purple Penguin, they have the opportunity with the NFT, the opportunity, you know, if you an NFT of Purple Penguin, you can access to a restricted area in the metaverse 
and you can discover special and exclusive uh, content. Nice. So it's that always, you know, the community give you something, you are giving them back within experience. And this change uh, will really do a, an important, uh, you know, impact, you know, in the, in the futures. Not, not so far. Because, you know, it's, it's not good to say that, but the COVID uh, gave us the opportunity, you know, to, I, to, to speed up the time, you know, on sure. how the people uh, could uh, accept this kind of, for example, the Impact NFT. Now we are talking uh, and uh, if, uh, you know, in the real place, there's an event and it's a great event, but with the metaverse, they can, you know, feel the same event also if you are in like you in the other part of the world sure absolutely well speaking of that we're going to go ahead and uh share my screen here and yeah. i am going to this is our uh impact nft exhibition in the nemesis metaverse so everyone can see there you are you are a, yeah you can see me over there star mm-hmm you are not with me. I'm talking alone on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> okay, man. <laughs> and so, so everyone can see kind of, you know, there's all kinds of artwork that we're displaying and you can learn about our partner, exhibiting partners and the artists behind the work. And each day you we can play the a... challenge. Yeah, you yeah. can play also the, the challenges challenge. to win uh, the NFT. So now it, it, another part, important part is that you can come into the metaverse. You just saw, you don't need to download anything. You don't need to create any account. So it's really easy, you know, and this is a, a, a very important point uh, that uh, we work on that for a long time because, uh, you know, there's some other, I could say, colleague. I don't like to, to, to call them a competitor, you know, like, uh, you sure. know, Sentinel Sandbox or Crypto Voxel or some other, you know, platform. They work. That's good because, you know, we, we are uh, you know, changing the, the, the approach of web. So it's important to be not alone. <laughs> so, you know, so it's very important. But the difference that we have is the usability. And this is very important yeah. if you want to go, you know, to talk with the mass market. And when I talk about mass market, it's, I talk about everybody. So the other, the other platform like the Central and Sandbox, you must be, I could say, you know, friendly with the technology. You know, it's not for sure. me, for example, that I'm not a nerd, I'm not a, you know, a gamer. It's not easy, you know, to, uh, to feel the experience. Uh, and to leave the experience inside the center land or sandbox or some other. So what, why I could say now the Nemesis could compete also if you don't, we don't raise so many, so much money like they raised. So we can compete with them is because the usability of the experience is very easy. And in the same time, we can give to the user, but also to the brand, something that could be useful tomorrow. So they don't need to wait. Uh, is, this is another right. you know, important point. Uh, for example, some other project, we, you know that we have the companion uh, NFT campaign uh, and we started uh, one month ago, approximately one month and a half ago. And uh, you know, we don't, we don't put, make too much marketing advertising. You know? We prefer to do in the opposite side. So we say what we can show you. We don't sure. say... What we will show you probably in the next future, we don't know when. <laughs> so sure. That's important. And we saw that the community loved that because they okay. can, you know, see that, uh, you know, a lot of scam go around this kind, this world. Right. There's a lot of scam. And it's not easy to say I'm not a scam just to say because I'm better than he or I, I have sure. a, a better graphic on my marketing advertising. So we work on that and we want to stay focused on that. So the nemesis, the difference between the other one is that uh, we have something useful, easy to use. It could be a marketing tool for brands. It could be a very important place for a community to create, you know, to engage the community and to give them something more than, uh, you know, a text or video or some content like that. And the other part is that, you know, we can really... Um, it, it's, uh, you know, in the future, when you will have the opportunity to create your own uh, world, we will release the land sale in the next uh, few weeks. We will have our, our token so you can play and earn. So all of this mechanic that uh, goes around this new world, uh, right. it will be in the nemesis, but it will be 
always uh, useful for everybody and not only you know for a specific target of users so it's very important that and also you know is the reason why uh, impact nft or some other project are you know coming on board because uh, it's important for them not talk only with uh, gamers it's important for them to talk with everybody especially right. you know for the non-profit uh, organization yeah i mean that's you know that's, that's a huge thing is uh, and and what what you know kind of the world of blockchain and crypto is supposed to do is it, it's you know i think it's really billed as uh lowering barriers right there's a lot of barriers to entry on a lot of things i mean look at other other aspects of the of the crypto world like DeFi, for example right in traditional finance like you know or traditional markets like there's a lot of there are, are barriers there are like you know you have to be an accredited investor a lot of the time and people are able to kind of get in on different projects and just join a community right and build build things up and that's obviously what y'all are doing with um the nemesis which is you know really really fantastic um so uh you founded the nemesis in 2019 is that correct 2019 yeah we, um, we incorporated the company we start uh, alessandro start to work you know on the code and everything yeah. you know on the i could say on the technological side in uh, 2016 so three years uh, oh, okay. before we start to work on that because the other important, you know, technical, I could say, just, uh, you know, uh, point is that uh, we can virtualize, you know, a real place using the camera or phone, or you can create your own metaverse just, you know, from scratch, that adding, you know, the road, the building and everything. So sure. it's very easy, the editor that we build. And when you virtualize a place, you can virtualize it, the, the, the metaverse, you create the metaverse, it will be, in the usability also in mobile, web, into the client. So in, it's really cross all the platform. And uh, that's the, the, the hardest work that uh, Alessandro especially did, uh, you know, to create the platform. Yeah, CEO Alessandro De Grandi. Yeah. Um, so, uh, yeah, so, I mean, what's the, you know, tell us a little bit about your team at the Nemesis. So yeah. you have... Um, Alessandro, who's like you said, the CEO and sort of technical mind behind the thing. And yeah. then you have, you know, you are sort of the voice and uh, the face. Of I it try to do. I try to be that. Yeah. <laughs> You're doing great. Um, and uh, yeah, can you tell us kind of about some of the other parts of the team? Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, we are uh, now, we, now we are hearing uh, approximately 10 people in the oh, next, okay. uh, you know, three, four weeks. And uh, now we are 15 sorry, 16 people that work on the project. Uh, most of them work on the dev department uh, because they, you know, we are, we are almost, you know, focused, uh, you know, on that yeah. because it's important that everything that we release must be, you know, strong, usability, the usability must be good. And uh, we are, we have now, uh, we are based in Swiss. So the, the company is based in Swiss. The development department is based in Italy. We have also a company in a branch in Albania, where we have uh, the guys that work on the graphic uh, and uh, community management and uh, you know customer care. We have uh, guys that work from the United States. That is the community manager uh, Daniel that is that live in the United States. So you know, man, we are growing very fast because uh, in the last week, uh, we know last week, last month, we are discussing uh, with one of the biggest, uh, I could say, venture capital uh, in the gaming market. Uh, I, I don't say the name, just, you know, for, sure, <laughs> you know, I touch in food and I don't say the name, but, uh, yeah. you know, they will come on, they, they, will, uh, they will invest, uh, you know, in, an important, uh, you know, an important part of, uh, you know, the next, the budget of the next year. And uh, they will support us. I think that they will give us, you know, you know that all the startup arrive, you know, in a moment when they are ready to scale, but they need to show how they can scale and they need to show some metrics to, you know, sure. to, to have the, the real venture capital that come and help them to do. So we skip this moment and now we are really, you know, ready to go to the moon and to create something that will be scalable and that will... I could say that will be, you know, an important uh, part uh, in this difficult moment uh, to, yeah. I think, uh, not to help only, but uh, to support people, you know, to pass through this difficult moment, uh, you know, having, uh, 
the opportunity to 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 enjoy you know to enjoy content to enjoy messages to enjoy uh, products uh, you know in a new way that is uh, you know let the users become uh, protagonist no more spectator yeah that's awesome you know I, I, you're absolutely right i think especially like you know with everything that's gone on in the last couple you know the last year and a half or so um with you know lockdowns and just the just the overall like the fear you know that we don't really talk yeah. about that much just like the overall you know how scary it all is like it's you know it's important to remember that like people should try to enjoy life that it should be fun that there should be fun things to do and ways to you know you can go and you can you can learn new things and connect and enjoy yourself while you do it you know it doesn't have to be hard all the time and yeah. uh, the nemesis really is uh, presents that kind of opportunity, I think, for people. Um, it's really fantastic. Um, uh, yeah, I give you a spoiler, Tom. Just oh, so please. You know, I know that you, 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 you love a spoiler. You know, in the next uh, <laughs> month, we will release also the opportunity to have, uh, I could say, your own lobby. You know, imagine that wow. there, there will be some, uh, you know, could say the specific template of metaverse that they could like your live living room or uh, you know like your cavern where you can be with your friend and you sure. have the opportunity to invite your friends into your you know oh, living nice. room and just see for example a football match together in the same sure. place with your avatar so uh, it, it's, it's important for us that the virtual world so online it must stay you know, separated by the real world. But in the same time, they must be connected. So I just give you, you know, an example for brands. For example, I, I don't know, you, you started the challenge in the Nike big store, in the Nike big metaverse, and you can complete the challenge using the augmented reality in the real world. And so the last int could be in front of the store. And then, okay, guy, you win. Go into the, the, the store and use your discount coupon to buy a pair of shoes. Yeah. And vice versa, you can buy a pair of shoes in Nike and you can use the same pair of shoes in the virtual world. So your avatar will run faster. So yeah. it's, it's something that, um, you know, I, I, I understand that is a, a lot of people could say, oh, man, you are a dreamer. It, never, it will never happen. But now we have the, we have the technology yeah, to we do absolutely that. Do. And also we have the users ready to accept that and ready to, you know, to enjoy yeah. with that. So it's, it's, it's uh, like you said, we, we are going out from a fear moment. But yeah. uh, this fear moment uh, opened a big door of an amazing moment that will be in the future not only in digital digital will help people you know to go out of yeah. that but they will live in the real world and digital will become something that will give them more power you know to approach the real world so yeah. it's really something it's like the equilibrium you know and uh, and this is the reason we call it the nemesis, you know, that is the goddess of uh, the equilibrium. Uh, oh, and this okay. is the reason why we call it the nemesis, uh, because we want to, to you know, to, to approach uh, the, the, the experience that must be in the equilibrium between online and offline experience. Uh, like we are doing, you know, in the NFT ex exhibition, there's the real uh, right. world uh, that is, you know, the real event and the virtual event. Now, in the next, you know, month and year, there will be always more interaction using, for right. example, the NFT or using some new thing that will, uh, you know, become. Yeah, absolutely. No, I mean, just to speak, just quickly to go back to the fear moment, like, it's, it's funny because I don't know about the, I can't speak to the whole world, but in the United States, something called the Roaring Twenties, where in, in the 1920s, people just, like, had a great time and enjoyed life and it knowing that there was a pandemic right before it they were like we lived let's do it you know and i think that's like that's a great attitude to have and i hope that we carry that through um with us and uh you know and uh and take advantage of this time that we have to you know enjoy ourselves and connect um so uh people can go to the nemesis.io yeah and yeah. they can check it out um, yeah. Like you said, you don't have to register just to check it out. You can go and just be a guest and kind of walk around and see the world and travel around the, the different um, metaverses within the Nemesis. Yeah. 
Yeah, they, we have we have more than sixty now metaverse, uh, oh. you know, that you can explore in the in the Nemesis, uh, and uh, you know, just uh, to give uh, they can access also from mobile, obviously downloading the app. Uh, this is another part that we have, you know, uh, you know that uh, uh, some other platform don't have. So we have the experience from mobile, but also you know from web, sorry, and also from mobile. That is very important because you, if you want, you know, you know that now the interaction, the the web interaction is mostly on uh, you know from mobile and not uh, sure. from web and uh, no, so we we are really happy if uh, you know uh, let's feel free to contact us you know if somebody you know are listening this uh, this talk to contact us and uh, to think and to deep more in details on how the nemesis could do for them and how the nemesis could be helpful for them we are now the last project that, uh, you know, the last partnership that we start, uh, you know, in the gaming market will be, you know, with the Pe Purple Penguin and Gamer Rash. We will start in the, in the next days, uh, you know, a good, a big campaign yeah. uh, for that. And also the, the NFT magazine, it will start a new magazine that will be an NFT. So oh, every wow. month you can buy the NFT that will be the magazine. So to read the magazine, you buy the, it will be NFT, the magazine of NFT. Sure. And it will be listed on OpenSea, and we are the main partner of that project. Uh, so it's really, you know, we are now starting together, you know, to build yeah. this new universe and uh, to, to build uh, that. And each of, uh, you know, of uh, partner, of brand, of everybody that come into this, uh, you know, universe uh, will have his part. And uh, for, to, to, to become, you know, big, uh, not the nemesis, but this kind of a new environment uh, is the community, is the users that are protagonists. And this is the, another, you know, important thing because uh, till now, the web uh, users are only, you know, a target uh, that you have to achieve uh, with conversion rate. Sure. Uh, mm -hmm. they, they are only a target. Now, the single user become an important part of this, uh, you know, of building this new universe that's 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 fantastic you know man because yeah. uh, we are doing something that is a business obviously but in the same time is something that uh, you know will give to users will give to people a new way you know to go out from uh, your this situation but to to attend uh, you know events and to, yeah. to, to enjoy man, to enjoy well it's a good it's a good model because it shows that you know you don't have to be a ruthless business to be a success Right. And to have people come in and, and, and be a part of it, like is, is a good thing that yeah. you, know, you want to grow people and have them be invested, personally invested in what you're doing and want to contribute to it. And that's the great thing about the metaverse is people can come in and kind of put their own stamp on it and make it feel like theirs. You know, it's, they, they could, yeah, the, with the editor, the, with the editor, sorry to interrupt you, with the yeah, editor, no, they, will, they will have the opportunity also to create some template of metaverse. So imagine that the, the community will have the opportunity to create with the, their fantasy, you know, yeah. the imagination to create the template of metaverse that uh, me or you, we can choose and just, you know, personalize the layout sure. to have our metaverse. So it really be the community that the will help the, the platform to scale. That's, that's uh, amazing. Yeah. Well, that's a fantastic place to end it. I think, uh, Ricardo Zanini, co-founder and CMO of The Nemesis. Uh, visit Nemesis, the nemesis.io. Uh, Ricardo, thank you so much for talking with me. And this was awesome. Thank you, man. And looking forward to see you in the metaverse. Around that the sounds good. I'll see you soon. <laughs> Bye, guys.